Hey guys, good evening. It's uh, Pastor Rob. Just wanted to come to you today and uh, share some news and and also talk to you about just some things that are on my mind. And what great news today that we heard that that um, if you're vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask inside or outdoors. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what California does and what uh, the city of Palm Springs does. But I'm sure hoping that this is going to be that we don't have to social distance anymore and that we won't have to wear masks unless you really want to. So I hope that that truly is where we get to. And I will let you know, know more about that as I find out information as well. But praise God, we are where we are today. And it reminds me of this verse that that actually is a verse I've been thinking about quite a bit because my daughter's graduation from high school is next Saturday. And Daniela, uh, when she was confirmed, her confirmation verse was from Philippians chapter four, verse 13. And 12 and 13 go together. So let me read those to you. I know how to be brought low and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger and abundance and need. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. I love that verse because it talks about how Paul understood that, that really all things work out for the good of those who love God. That's the Romans verse that we might know as well, that all things work out for those who love him. And I, I think back to this last year, year and a half that we've been through, the struggle that all of us have faced, the, the maybe depression or loneliness or things that we have felt during this year, and we're at a point now where we can say, you know what, God, you carried us through. You actually got us through this period and praise God for what you have done. And I hope that you're starting to realize that right now, that maybe we are actually at a point where we are through this. And that the day that we've been looking forward to when things would truly get back to normal would actually be here. And that we understood that I can do all things through him who gives me strength, that it was God who gave us this strength to get through this year and to make it to the point that we are today. But the amazing thing about this is that he is also saying that this is what he can do. He is the one who gives us the wisdom in his word. The Holy Spirit works in you and I, and that lets us welcome any experience that we have in life and know that ultimately that he will be there to help us through it. And he will be there to walk us through whatever we face in this life. Paul actually said this while he was in prison, and he was facing that imprisonment, and he knows what it's like to be high, he knows what it's like to be low, but all in all, he knows more than anything that it is Jesus who gives him the strength that he needs to get through anything in this life. And see, that's what we know, especially after we've faced all that we have this year, we know that Jesus is the one who gives us the strength to get past anything and to get through anything that we face. It is him that gives us the comfort, the peace, and the love that we know we have through him, knowing that whatever we face, it's okay, because ultimately, whatever we deal with in this life, that's not what's important. What's important is the eternal life that he promises us, the fact that we know that Jesus died on the cross so we are forgiven, that he rose again so that we have new life, and because of that, we can be confident that no matter what happens today, our future is secure, and praise God for that. So I hope today that brings you just a little bit of comfort as we think about that. And I want you to just continue to pray for so many things, but also pray on this verse that I can do all things through him, Christ, who gives me strength, because ultimately that's what all of us need. You know, my daughter, that was a great verse for her. It really has been true in her life, how the confirmation verse sort of played out, that it was the strength of Jesus in her life that carried her through some of the struggles she's been through in her high school career, but now she's at a point where she can look back and say, God, you were with me and you have blessed me in so many ways. And I, I know that if you take a look at your life, you'll feel the same way as well. As we talk about my daughter graduating as well, I know many of you have talked about coming to her graduation. Unfortunately, we thought that that was gonna be a possibility and some of you may have gotten notices on that as well. But Xavier has actually changed things and brought it indoors. And because of that, we're limited to just six people going to the graduation. So unfortunately, I wish we couldn't open the, I wish we could open this up to everyone, but unfortunately we can't. Also, I wanna make sure you're aware of a couple of things as well. Um, we have a Bible study, there are a couple of Bible studies that are starting that I want to make sure you all know about. So both of these are gonna be led by Denny Tellis. He is, Danny is just a, a man of God that has joined us at, uh, over the last year and probably a year and a half here at Our Saviors. 
and he's going to be leading an alpha study, which is, is a series of interactive sessions that freely explore the basics of the Christian faith. It's for anyone who really wants to explore the faith, maybe not even believe in Jesus yet, but wants to explore and know more about the faith in Jesus and what it really means. The discussions are geared around exploring that faith and getting people to, to talk about it and understand it a little bit more. So if you have friends that sort of are doubting or friends that don't believe, but they want to have a conversation, we encourage you to have them come out and join us for this. It's beginning on May 16th, that Sunday evening, this coming Sunday evening at 6 p.m. in the fellowship hall. So I encourage you to join us for that. Or there's also a Monday evening Bible study that Danny is going to be offering. It's on, beginning on May 17th. It's going to take place again Monday evening at 6 p.m. in room 204 up in the, up in the uh, education wing of the church. And there, He's going to, first session is going to be just talking to everyone to find out what is it that they want to study. And then from then, they'll sort of launch off onto that study, and he'll be leading that one as well. I hope to have my Bible study starting very soon, as since we are open now and we can get back to maybe doing our Wednesday night event, I hope to do that very soon. But these are two Bible studies that are starting now, and hopefully you'll start seeing more and more begin uh, to get going again at church as we continue this process of reopening. But what a great move it is today that we can actually uh, move towards reopening, maybe without masks and without social distancing, hugging and shaking hands again. I look forward to that and I hope that that's the case this weekend. So would you pray with me and just say thank you to God for what he's done and how he's carried us through this. So let's pray. Well, dear gracious Lord, we just thank you for today. We thank you for all that you do. And Lord, uh, we know that you give us the strength to endure all things in this life. And Lord, we can face anything with you. And so, Lord, we just thank you for how you've carried us through this last year and a half. It has been a difficult year and a difficult time. But Lord, we ask that you would heal any wounds that we have. That Lord, you would take away any depression or anxiety or loneliness that we have. That Lord, you would knit us together to be a unified group of Christians at Our Saviors that would be all about the work that you have given us to do. And that, Lord, you would let us feel the joy of connection, the joy of, of being together as the family of God, of brothers and sisters in Christ once again, and let us truly be able to experience the things the way they used to be, because, Lord, we really want that to happen. So, Lord, continue to lead us and guide us. And, Lord, we just say thank you for how you have been with us and guided us through this time. And we pray this all in Jesus' glorious name. Amen. Take care, guys. God bless. Look forward to seeing you this weekend, okay? Bye.